Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada at 7770 Dean Martin Drive. Come and see us. Lights are coming back on. We've got lots of muscle cars in here, Ferraris and classic cars and antique cars, Al Capone's car, Tupac's car. Got some rock star cars, it's awesome. Okay, now, uh, you're very smart to check in on this car. Yes, I'm, I'm, gonna, get, I'm gonna get down to nitty gritty here. 120,000, just over 120,000 original miles. It's got plenty of road wear. It's white, it's a Range Rover, it's a 2010. It's a, it's a Land Rover, Range Rover. It's white, the interior's in good shape. The paint and overall condition is good, but here's the kicker. It's fast. It's so fast. This thing is so fast. We got a lift kit on it. Got some off-road tires on it. Roof rack, storage bin, all these little cool extras. But it's really, really fast. Holy crap, is this thing fast. Got a V8 in it. It's a monster. It gets up, it's so shocking how quick this thing is. Uh, I'm sure you can look up on YouTube. Oh, it's only goes zero to 60. Uh, who cares? Look at this great big thing, 2010. It's a great big SUV. It'll plant you back into your seat like you wouldn't believe. Okay, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm really not supposed to be here to talk about that stuff. I'm your living, breathing condition report, okay? Maybe you live on the other side of the country. Maybe you're not local and you want to know what the overall condition is on this. Uh, it's got 121,000 miles on it, ladies and gentlemen. It's got condition issues, okay? They're not awful. It could be shined up real nice. You get it back to your fancy detailer at home. I can feel little, uh, you know, tree stuff on it. It's got little groovy things on it. You find a fancy detailer at home, um, uh, you know, pay the guy to come over to your house and get his fancy wheels out and shine this and make it much brighter white than it, it currently is, okay? Um, headlight stuff, you know, you get what I'm saying. This is, uh, you know, this one's a, a, a little bit of a work in progress, if you will. There's some normal road wear across the front. I'm not going to point at chips um, with this kind of mileage on it. Our normal cars that we have in here normally don't have these many chips. Uh, normally the grill is in, uh, in a little better of a shape. The, uh, the headlights in a better of a shape. But this is a unique car because it's really fast. Anyway, okay. Get a good look at down below here, okay? It's got a couple small paint issues down below. Uh, I wish it looked better. It's not gonna cost a whole lot for you to get it taken care of at your local uh, paint shop, okay? Um, uh, we didn't have time to get to the bottom of this one, but it's just such a great ride and it's such a great car and it still runs so good that we wanted to get it out here in the market for you. There's a, there's a, a used car shortage. So maybe you're looking for a white one of these and didn't want to spend a gajillion dollars. Okay, so we're gonna go over, you see on the front, um, the camera can do the work. There's little marks here and there. The headlights need a little bit of a shoe shine. Uh, the, uh, got a couple little black marks here on the paint up front. Um, every panel has a little bit of road wear, folks, um, and is dying for a professional detail. And, uh, you know, maybe you throw a couple little blobs of touch-up paint in some of these holes, and then you get your detailer to go over it after he's put a little bit of clear on it, and you're probably going to be in some really good shape on this vehicle. There is curb rash uh, pretty much on every wheel. They're minor. We did a little touch-up. We fixed them up. The wheels are in good shape. They're all straight. They're not going to wobble on you. I've driven this around plenty. It's a very smooth, nice ride. We even have, uh, you know, a couple rocks in the tread. <laughs> okay. Um, so you work your way down the side of the car. Once again, folks, I'm not going to pick this thing apart. You see a little bit of road wear. You are seeing what I'm seeing. There's no great big dastardly, dastardly dents or chips in the paint. It's really just fine. All the way down the side of the car. There's a couple little, couple little scratches here and there, but that's why I keep calling on your professional detailer from down the street, okay? couple little things here, but nothing is like so damaging that I, I need to, you know, point it out. Just for the, the front section there that we saw about uh, two minutes ago. Here's your next wheel. You see this little bit of curb rash um, and uh, th they've been kind of sort of fixed a little bit just so some of the rash wouldn't show as much. So we threw some black paint on there, did the best we could, just calling out on what we did. It's what we do here at Celebrity Cars. We don't want you to, you know, 
think we're hiding anything. There's a little bit of dirt here that needs to go. I'm gonna spin this around so we have some decent light. The rear tail lights look pretty good. You can see in there, they're all free and clear of, uh, you know, any of that fogging going on. So we're in good shape there. The rear glass is in good shape. A uh, couple scratches in the glass from the, uh, from the rear windshield wipe, but uh, they're not the normal heavy scratch. It's just a little light. Uh, the window tint looks good. It's nice and dark. Up top here all looks good. We don't have clear coat peeling or anything like that up top. This back bumper, all of this looks in pretty darn good shape. A little bit of fading of a couple buttons and the Range Rover logo on the back. But once again, just need a little detailing help back here. This part you're gonna find, especially from a 2010 with 121,000 miles on, it's got some scratches from taking out the camping gear or the luggage or what have you. It's got a trailer hitch on the back. In case you wanna tow a boat around, this thing has got plenty of power in order to do it. Really awesome looking dual exhaust. I'm gonna to continue to spin the car around a little heavy. Give me a second. And we'll get it, we'll work our way up the passenger side. All this is good. A uh, couple really small little marks. Uh, this corner here with a good detailer, like I said, a couple of little scratches. Looks like some bushes might have done it. Not a car or anything. There's no big damage back here. It's just a couple scratches. You're seeing again what I'm seeing and uh, detailer be able to get all that stuff out. Here's your wheel and tire over here on the passenger side. A little bit of curb racks, we cleaned it up some. Very good condition, or I'll say good condition, not bad. Uh, window tint looks good. Uh, I forgot to put these windows up. We'll get another check on those in a little bit. You can also go to celebritycars.com and look at photographs of maybe the windows up, windows down, hood up, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, all along here, is in decent shape. I don't see any big dings or anything like that, that, uh, you know, a detailer can't get rid of dings. They can get rid of a couple of these little small scratches though, that's for sure. It's all one piece, folks. Um, got a little bit of a, a mark. I had some touch-up paint put on this side view mirror. Other than that, beautiful white. And your front fender, just some crud. Come off with a good detail. And your front wheel and tire, uh, nice and clean, and some of that curb rash that we mentioned earlier. Okay, we've gone over the front bumper. Let's get a good look up over the hood from this angle because I see those scratches. Can you see those scratches in the, uh, in the lens? Are you working on it a little bit? Okay. Um, got some uh, half decent, just normal scratches going on here from some microfiber towels or somebody using a towel that they shouldn't have in order to wipe off the top of this car. You notice none of them are deep. None of them are, none of them can't be removed. So once again, you're gonna call your favorite detailer over, you're gonna spend some money and they're gonna get all those marks out for you, which I'm pretty sure uh, 90 to 95% of those would disappear. The windshield, um, you would think at 120,000 miles, there'd be a lot more markings on this wind uh, windshield because of uh, normal road wear, but there's not. It's very minor. I'm gonna call this minor, it's minor. You could see it, I know, I, I know you could see it, I could see it too. There's no great big chunks taken out of anything. These are just really um, minor, minor marks in the glass. Oh, you know what? That might be one that you'd have to look into right there. But really, it's, it's, it, it, there's no cause for alarm here. I know the windshield wipers work good. And um, there you have it. Let's open this up. It seems the light is in a good spot right now for you to see everything going on in the, in the interior. Get a, your first good wide angle shot and then I'll start pointing at some things, okay? Fair enough. Up here, I don't know, somebody had a very hot elbow. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what happened here, uh, but uh, it is what it is. All these buttons are in great shape. The side panels are in good shape. Um, then you work your way into the interior. There's a lot of protection down here in the floor. There's the carpet underneath, which seems to be in one piece. Maybe a little stained, but it's not god awful. Um, this seat is in uh, really, uh, the seat right here, your driver's side seat has some wearing going on of getting in and out of the car. Um, down here, this lower plastic though, look at the shape of that, it's beautiful. This seat is in great shape, folks. Um, there's no tears in it, just a little wear, okay? A little creasing wear 
uh, this bolster on the side where this will always come apart. I barely even see a mark of getting in and out. It, there's overall condition on these seats just from being around for 21 years, okay? Um, but uh, nothing's bad. Uh, maybe a little extra effort. These would clean up a little bit more, but uh, you're, we're really in good shape. All the sills inside the doors are all pretty clean. Um, I'm going to hop in real quick and we'll take a look at this door panel one more time. Uh, there's a little two-tone thing going on there. Other, except for up top, it's, uh, it's all looks real good down here. So I'm going to let you stick the camera in here in just a moment, but I'm just going to look it over and see if I see any great big cracks in the dash or chunks taken out of the dash or on this console. There's a little bit of wear on the armrest little light scratches here and there, but nothing bad. I still call all of this really good to great condition. The wood, I don't see any great big splits in it or breaks in it. Um, you know, the clock looks good. The screen looks terrific. The glove box, got room for your CDs in the glove box, folks. <laughs> okay, 123,659 miles. I was, I thought it said 121. It's 123,000 miles, folks. The uh, headliner all looks to be in good shape. These are actually really shocking. They look terrific. Uh, the controls up here to open up the moonroof look good. There might be some light staining in here, folks, with the light that I have right now, but there's nothing crying out to me that that looks terrible. Steering wheel looks great. The plastic shield over, over, the, uh, over the gauges looks terrific. Uh, okay, let me open up this next door. I'm gonna let you take a look inside the back as I go over and open up the other doors. How's the look back here in the back seat? So the floor guards are back here once again. Uh, they fit perfectly and the carpet underneath looks really, really nice. Uh, I see no reason to remove these floor guards at all. Um, they are very much protecting what's going on back here as far as the carpet's concerned. And look at these seats. Man, they're beautiful. Nobody stored anything stupid back here to poke any holes in the seats. They all look really great. They look great. And the headliner back here looks really good too with really, really minor, very faded marks, if any at all. Okay, let's look out back. Got a little 12 volt outlet back here. It's pretty cool and convenient. I see uh, a little uh, bit of the carpet back there is rotted away. Something, uh, something ate away at the carpet back there. Uh, no big deal. Uh, well, it might be to you, but uh, it's all the way back there. It's not like uh, anybody's gonna be sitting back there and see this. The only reason why those seats would be down is in order to store things. Oh, and uh, also you can see it looks like uh, maybe a, a couple marks on the walls back there. I'm pretty sure all that stuff can be wiped off. Um, but the carpet's in decent condition. Look underneath here. Here we go. It's good. I'll, I'll slide over your way. That's the carpet underneath, so you know you're not walking into something disastrous underneath. These the covers seem to have really done a good job. I'll look at this side, too, since there's a mess over there. No, nope, that's the only sign of a mess right there. So. Uh, nice and white in the jams. Everything looks good. And let's look over at the passenger side real quick. Passenger side uh, rear door looks really good condition. There's none of those markings up here. Check it out for climbing in and out. It's very nice and clean. Oh my Lord, there's television sets in the headrest, folks. Did you see that? I did not see that. Not only is it fast, it's very well optioned, obviously. And then check this out, climbing in and out of the passenger seat. There's barely a mark going on here. Extra sharp, very impressive. Okay, so there you have it. 2010 Land Rover Range Rover. We've gone over the entire, oh, let's look at the engine compartment. We haven't done that yet.
There's that speed I was talking about. Got your big V8 in here. Now, in case you found this uh, video on YouTube first and you haven't seen the, the write-up, you can go to celebritycars.com and find out all the options. Um, this car has some really good service history too. So help you out a little bit with your worry or your questioning about this vehicle. It's called Alaska White. That's the white that you see on the car. And what great condition that we have under here. It's good stuff. Okay, now look. Let's go for a quick ride, make sure everything works. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this 2010 Land Rover Range Rover. The odometer says 123,650 and change miles being offered up for sale. Okay, now I'm in the sunlight and I get to see all this stuff that we talked about uh, uh, earlier on in the video about condition. And I am reaffirming that condition. It's beautiful. There's just a little bit of wear right here on this rest, but all these buttons, man, look at all these options. It's all wheel drive, right, left, jeez. You could really have some fun in the desert and the mountains in this vehicle, that's for sure. It's all ready to go. Okay, so we're just gonna get its mannerisms. Make sure it works. Make sure it does everything it's supposed to do. The brakes work and all that stuff. My foot's on the brake. Everything lights up the way it's supposed to. Got a nice rumble to it. Supercharged V8. Got my seatbelt on. All right, now uh, we're gonna get up to about 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna hit the brakes good and uh, make sure the brakes work so you can see all that stuff. Uh, I already can feel the air conditioner working just fine in here. Um, I can hear it. Um, this is, uh, I kind of feel like I'm in a much newer vehicle than a 2010, that's for sure. Okay, uh, talk to you in a second. Here we go. I'm in drive. Foot's off the brake. Okay, doing about 40 miles an hour. I'm going to hit the brakes real good. Three, two, one. just fine. No wobble in the brake, uh, no squeaks, um, absolutely zero, any bad things. So, uh, and smooth as heck. The transmission, you don't hear anything. This is a beautiful ride. Back on the gas. Great big tires. You, you don't even know you're driving on them. Nice tires. It's very quiet in here. Very windy day outside. Okay, let's get up to about 50 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, so we have a screw rolling around there. That's all that is. My right turn signal's on. This is a fast truck, folks. I know I said it earlier, I'm saying it again. Been in plenty of these uh, Land Rover, Range Rovers. Most of them are not fast, except for some of the new ones. This is fast. This is a 2010, supercharged V8. It's fast. I'm going over bumps, potholes, you folks aren't hearing anything but me talk, are you? What a great ride. Great vehicle, folks. Yeah, it's got high mileage on it, but it's been serviced. We have the service records, and uh, you'd be very happy to own this. This is good for a youngster, a uh, first-time car. Uh, it seems safe. Everything works good. Air conditioner's on. Got some uh, navigation going on here on the screen, although not as sharp as today's technology. It still gets the job done and uh, really cool. It's got a couple little blemishes to it, folks. You can fix, that, fix those yourselves and call that detailer. This will shine up quite a bit more. 702-818-1031, celebritycars.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks very much.